And Egem just going to eat up a Tango and maybe get himself into a little bit of trouble. And here's the trouble. I think he'd be okay. I think he can hold him, and I think that's first blood. Goodbye. And uh, nicely done by S4. One more kick. Do you need the help, General? Actually, we'll wait on uh, that moment. Is General going to have to run around the trees? EGM will be able to find him. And he's going to be held in place. We're out for, for a couple of spins, but this will be General going down. Uh, now a 2-0. God, I, I know what James is saying now. Like, there's buttons that click themselves. I'm trying to click Ember Spirit. Oh, sorry. Uh, We're going to have an RP viewer onto Dendi, into the tower in the mid lane. James. He does have actually uh, good rotation by Lord on his level 4 Rubik. He really desperately needs this level 6 up on top lane. There's going to be an initiation onto the Ra. The Shackles, the Chain Frost. It's going to be a kill. And a dead Ursa. Going to lose an Ursa, but rotation. they will be uh, TPing in. And leading the charge is going to be the Ember. So Nico's here as well. EGM is going to be food. Uh, for the team and they will actually be able to pick up Admiral Bulldog in comes the change hold him in place and he'll be going down and uh, General actually using the creeps here to actually get a few more spins and that's going to be two kills for the price of an Ursa so uh, not not too far away from his own bling dagger yeah only about and top lane away. General going to catch two and EGM is going to be one of them Admiral Bulldog as well so this lane was starting off so well and it's going to be a double dunk for General and uh, it's great to get the kills on Axe because you feel cool. But I've yes. seen you play a lot of competitive Axe. You actually were one of the players that kind of made it, you know, look good. Yeah. But I also noticed, PyCat, that you really liked getting the dunks. And I do I like my dunks. He has picked up his Blink as well as Arcane Boots. And we're going to have a TP down bottom. Lodo initiates onto the Ursa. Wasn't expecting General, though, to react so fast. And there is going to be an RP drop. But Sonico managed to pick him up. Steals it. Replaces the RP for his team of Na'Vi. And uh, they will get rid of the Aegis. Uh, nice ulti coming out by Ake. Actually going to really help get the kill on the Shadow Demon there. And uh, Loda just having to run away. Digira really wants to chase him. But unfortunately doesn't have what it takes to chase. And despite the stolen RP, Digira just stands here. He's like, please don't find me. I don't have any items. My friends, they're not really my friends. I always thought you guys were going to win. I totally betted on you. Jukes. Don't worry about it. The Jukes are real. But Admiral Bulldog will finally get the better of him. And Loda really wants to be on this kill as well. And he's got enough... Uh, mana for one stun and that's going to be four members down and Aegis also removed and uh, a great match to do it on this El Clasico. And Loda has picked up he didn't initiation on mid lane it's going to be a disruption to save Dendi. Run Dendi looking to chase Mr. Bulldog. Bulldog. Chain Frost thrown out by Aki and then he blows up. But it will get a counter kill on EGM and the dunk will give him some speeds. And then you also have a lot of, you know, good kind of counter initiate or initiate potential with um, We're gonna have your Magnus. You're here. a really strong lineup. But Digirar is going to jump in, going to be forced to use his ulti. S4 is going to catch him on the way out. So I'm going to come in now onto Digirar. General finds himself uh, able to kind of taunt in EGM. But unfortunately, he just got blown up. And the wards down from EGM aren't going to help get the kill potentially onto Dendi. But no, he gets away. But unfortunately for him right in front of Loda, so uh, wasn't able to survive for long and at the cost of just EGM. Try to control the Sven with the Purge. They need to farm up this X on the SD. Top tower is going to be destroyed by an Navi. Unfortunately, but so is General when S4 Rasta is going wards. to skewer and the other core Digira on his Ursa back through the wards and he's going to get picked up and they will lose those two members again, uh, which was pretty stupid. That is quite crazy. And we're going to have a skewer on the General. Sven's done as oh. well. And he's, he's going to go down to the Dagon of EGM. Buyback coming in, though. Admiral Bulldog not really out of position. BKB, first time use for Digira. But unfortunately, EGM is just going to use himself up and blink out of there. Uh, on the racks is Loader. He's going to start chasing General. He's going to actually Ball taunt him, but get hold in place. RP cancelled. RP cancelled. Digira will be going down. Loader having a somewhat of a tough time, but unfortunately, well, actually will go down. Uh, to the help of the Shadow Demon and uh, Dendi is uh, still actually there, but the end of the result of this really is Alliance do get the racks. Alliance are just gonna go five man down this lane. Oh, they are going five to run into up. Navi and now. And EGM's on front line, but doesn't actually react uh, fast enough. And it looks like they will be getting the kill. No, they won't be getting the kill on EGM as S4 comes in with an RP. EGM was able to use his Dagon before he finally went down. Loader popping his BKB, looking to chase Dendi. Decided to change his mind once Digira gets a huge crit. 620 as S4 gets four staffed and four staffed him off up to the top. The king of the hill. And now S4 going to celebrate. He's got some dance moves. GG is called. And GG is going to be called. Cool. So performance by Alliance. Gold graph over 9,000. I was like, James, I don't understand what you're trying James to do. James 1 and James 2. Yeah, James 2 is mental. James 1, obviously, completely sane.
Last hits into oh, nice. Oh, thank you, James. Down to We're W. We're gonna see Loda here. Run into Dendi. He's gonna drop the rocket barrage onto Dendi. Just give him a... Everything you said so far is true. We're Continue. going to have art style blocked in first here by Loda and first blood for Alliance. You were wrong. First I was wrong. Blood. But Loda was down in the end. Okay, I was wrong about the first blood. So this uh, lane right here is probably where we can see a lot of the action. Loda going to go in onto art style's Bane. Uh, I believe that might have been a stun coming in, but it looks like he's trying to get one last three. hit. We'll be able to get it. The boar is out, so unfortunately Ake is going to drop. And let's see what the boar can do as General wants to run down Loda. Micro the boar, micro the boar. Oh, one more hit. It probably wouldn't have mattered as uh, Loda will be able to get away. And uh, their exchange one to one. Both of the cores staying alive. General wants to go Double in and down. he actually will get the kill with the axes. I think Twitch chat will be millionaires. A hasted S4 diving onto Dendi. TP in by Dichera. And we're going to have a duel. Yeah, that's First duel of the game. He's going to walk away from the duel. Did you are not able to uh, close that one out? So Nico TP in and Admiral Bulldog nice. is going to go down. And S4 with his haste through and is just like looking around. He's like, I really want to do something, but I guess I'll just run past you because that's a fun thing to do. Uh, we'll go team up with Loda, and he's actually going to get jumped on. Sneaker's going to catch him. Loda will drop his ulti, and he's going to almost get Dendi, but he's going to be saved there by General. Uh, but I'm managing to shield him up, and actually Loda's going to go down. So even though Na'Vi, oh, very, very low, are still going to dive under the tower. They want more. They want Ake. No crit coming in, but General just going to swipe him down, and all of them are going to get out. Potentially, Bane, Artstyle, just going to hold Admiral Bulldog in place. All right, well, we're going to have a smoke up. Did you, Ra? Going to be amped up as well. Can't remove it. But so far, he's going to find himself uh, most, the majority of the Alliance team. But we'll be able to run away from the cooldown. Loader just going to end up hitting some creeps there. And I don't think they want to dive. But EGM is like, no, we're going in. Loader's like, no, this is why we don't. Dies to a tower after taking uh, an auto attack from a Bane. And uh, Artstyle going to hold up here. Admiral Bulldog. Digira comes in, wants to take a duel. So Nico's with him. And looks like the kill will go in. Yeah, and that's the wonky sleep. Alliance are going to be smoked up. They're going to need Spore, Bulldog. Let's see what they the can make of the situation. Cooldown is only level 1, but it is available. They're going to catch Dendi out first, but unfortunately the uh, stun is going to miss. EGM going to drop the Warlock. They're going to go straight onto Suniko. He's going to get blown up, and the chase potential is there, potentially, but it really needs uh, Bulldog to catch, but it's... You know, the team trying to slow as best they can, trying to slow Dendi. They are going to catch him. He's going to get away just in time onto the Legion Commander. Have they got another Presley attack to remove? Um, yep, they do. And that will get him away. And also a nice sleep there from Artstyle. Loader moving in a little bit, maybe too far here. He's going to get picked up by Dendi's uh, Stifling Dagger. And Admiral Bulldog is like, no, you killed my longtime friend. I want revenge, but actually he's going to put himself in a pretty awkward position. He is going to go down. Den Dendi didn't get the kill. It was art style. This Bane is doing absolute work, and the Golem still chasing, but not really doing much. And even though the Fatal Bonds have been on the fight a few times, they a few times they really haven't been able to just lock down a kill. And so Nico is going to TP back. Going to find himself S4 though. Uh, Dendi is going to jump on to give a little bit of help. S4 is actually going to get jeweled up, and that blade melt ripping through S4. Down. Yeah. And the brain sap. Why well, we throw it all in? And did EGM no, actually get a counter kill? Yeah, he did get Suniko. And Dendi do want to continue to chase Bulldog. He actually will now go down to Digira. And in comes the duel as well. Blade Mail is up. That's going to be the kill. Loader's in with a cooldown. Catches some of them, but I do believe there's also a mech up on the Bane. I'm not sure if it arrived on time. Yeah, it did. So the mech used, but look at this. EGM gets absolutely an amazing Fatal Bonds. And just a stupid amount of damage with the help from uh, his... Uh, sorry, Gyrocopter, and actually putting out that many kills back in favor of Alliance. He managed to uh, blink out onto his teammate. So, uh, General going to go in. Lodo going to drop a cooldown. Is he actually going to hit two? And in comes the combo. EGM doing a lot of damage. Will eat a little bit of the blade mail, though, but they will collect the kill uh, onto the Legion Commander. But at the cost of Lodo, freezing field thrown down by Suniko as Admiral Bulldog has to dodge that onto the left hand side. General looking like he could go back in, but they do have vision. And Dendi all the way in the top right. He's caught. He's in no man's land. He, he's. Oh, what? He turns a kill. He evades. He keeps evading. He's cheating. He's just punching Ake. And S4 is slept. He's sad. And Suniko is like, now you're on ice. And Dendi doesn't care because he had uh, Aegis. They're a very unscary team uh, in general, especially since they're behind. Yeah. I mean, cooldown is going to have a low cool, cooldown. Sorry for uh, Loader. Um, no cool we'll be able to put out some pressure. 
Can you say that? Five times fast. Yes. No. I decline. Gonna be going in here against four heroes. Oh, that's their chase. They're gonna be able to slow with EGM. Lodo looks like he's gonna give away, unfortunately, another jewel win to Digirot. Ake gonna be slept. General's got himself a blink dagger and a blink in, and EGM just going to top over as well. Very, very tough for the Lions. They're just gonna call it right away. What a turnaround from game one. Having that I'm, feeling I'm, of a pro Dota. I'm having a hard game. time clicking on heroes though. We're gonna have a disruption <laughs> on two Ake. I wonder please why this happens. Don't die, Ake. This is not good for our bet. Oh no, Ake! Please, please, the yes, fire, Ake. yes, run, live, run, live, run, creep, survive. Come on, first blood, oh. alliance. Yes. Ake, you legend, you pull out silencer. Look at this, general. There's the orb of venom. There click. is an orb of venom. I can't click on Ake. That's the problem. I know. The, I had this problem go. on my PC earlier. That's, that's plus four intelligence. And we see Jendi here up on the top lane, crush onto General Bulldog. Uh, Bulldog wants to get out of here. He's going to drop his cogs, but Dendi's going to follow. Oh, on the a bottom lane, there's first a damage. And looks they like he almost picked up the kill. Uh, no, it's not going to happen. Bulldog run. And I think the Shadow Strike, if that's what it's called, is actually quite a low level. And Bulldog's going to survive. survive. Six HP. Looks like Alliance. Prime One. position here as we go back into the game. Pycat pulled, caught it perfectly. Temper Chain off, but he doesn't actually get the kill. And wait, Loader goes down as well. And EGM unable to kind of chase. And finally, it will be S4 uh, able to help get the kill as EGM will drop. Digira unfortunately going to go down on the Slarder as Bulldog TP'd in. Already a 4k net worth, but slightly going back in favor as Na'Vi kind of extending themselves to get some farm. And it looks like, you know, the Bounty Hunter's really been trying to look to see if they can open up any opportunities. But EGM... Getting closer to some Nico and also art style, so maybe an opportunity. Actually, a sentry wall comes down, but that doesn't matter. He's in a good position. Bulldog goes in, wants to kill S4, looking to chase as well. Bulldog looking to maybe get the kill on General. He gets away. Digiraf throws in a stun to help him out as well. In comes the first Ice Blast. It is going to hit free on the back lines. Dendi's still doing work, but unfortunately, he's eating a, a little bit too much damage. He's going to have to back off, and Digira, with his uh, armlet, is going to be able to toggle away after a kill, and Loader going to feel pretty sad, and already just, you know, we kind of talking about Na'Vi previous to this fight where they felt a little bit out of it. You know, they save General. They get huge amounts of damage. Um, unfortunately, they're going to lose General now as I curse him as Ake picks up a little bit more int. But Digira, that armlet really came to work. Can he get away from Loader? Does armlet toggle nicely. And, yeah. Going into late game. Oof, oh, missed hook by It was close, but it doesn't almost matter. Oh, Loader does sort of get caught. Nice four staff away there. Uh, from his teammates to get him out of the Ice Blast. And they will collect the kill onto Art Style Shadow Demon. S4 looking to get away. Digira wants to come in. Uh, Ake backing him up. And also Loader with the Desolator. That's going to be a lot of damage going on to Digira. Admiral Bulldog will help uh, click up to get the kill. And EGM just tracking people, chasing people. s is like, thank you very much. You are a good friend. But gets caught out. Great impel there by General. Going to stop the kill onto the... Um, Onto the snowman is uh, officially Navi like to call him, um, but unfortunately he will go down a little bit later. The tracks are still coming in. S4 way behind the tier two tower, so close to his heart. EGM coming in, finds himself general, and uh, global silence lands perfectly by Ake to stop Digira coming in with a stun, and uh, EGM will be able to get away, and Digira will now go down. Gem on the ground, I believe as well. Uh, there was a buyback. Sorry, um, uh, he did die on the uh, bounty. They're still going to chase. General not able to hold him in position. Looks like we're going to be losing the Shadow Demon of Artstyle here as well to S4. Tier 2 tower is going to go down mid. Ice Blast comes in. Going to connect on to S4. Doesn't manage to dodge it. Dendi wants to help finish this up. Going to get last worded though. In the tough spot. Going to have to use that off. Going to get hit by Cogs and not going to be able to blink out in time. Nice play by Bulldog there on the Cogs. And that's when shit gets real. But he did go for Veil Discord as well. Did oh, do that. Loader wants to delete the Shadow Demon, will do so. Dendi's going to have to get out. Oh, Global Silence came in just a little bit too late. And they will actually now claim back their gem if they want to. Soniko is going to be tracked up. S4 has nothing to hook to, unfortunately. Or oh, he does, actually, but he's not able to get directly onto Soniko. They need to get out of here as at least uh, casualties as possible. But there is a hook all the way onto Digira. And they will chase Dog's force into Cogs. Digira's heart potentially going down. Dendi's left all alone going, oh, God. And uh, we're going to see uh, another. And you see what tower. happens when, when, when Na Navi don't get the jump. 
when lions yeah. are the ones initiating, if they get the jump onto the slaughter, right, just because of how strong the heroes are right now. This fool's got his shivas up. Gonna go with that axe. Now. He's gonna keep hooking heroes, and that's gonna result in more kills. And these are all track kills. Now he's level 11, so the track is gonna start helping a bit. Yeah. And it looks like just a GG, GG right will be called. General calls it. Navi are gonna bow out of the third and final match here of the El Clasico. Uh, Betway fight night and Alliance will take it two to one.